welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania is set to show us the wonders of the universe underneath the MCU as Scott, Hope, and Cassie make their first visit to Janet Van Dyne's former subatomic home as evidenced by the amazing first trailer that had me singing Elton John for the next two to three days straight. When I gonna come home? <laughs> However, in proper Ant-Man fashion, it isn't those big moments that you gotta watch out for, but those little ones. Because while everyone was checking out Jonathan Majors, I think everybody missed a non-Jonathan, but still major reference to Avengers Endgame cleverly hidden amongst all that quantum mania mania. But where is it, you might ask? Stick around and find out, my nerd babies. Good news, you don't have to shrink yourself down to see wonderful things because you can just head on over to newrockstarsmerch.com right now to see all of our wonderful new merch items for you, including our latest obsession shirts inspired by House of the Dragon. Check out all of our amazing shirts and all of our amazing other nerd options over at newrockstarsmerch.com today. All right, gang, so as I said before, and like the trailer shows, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is set to finally reveal to us the secrets of the quantum realm. The MCU has been teasing us since like the first Ant-Man movie. But one of the biggest secrets that will be explored in this movie is primarily Janet Van Dyne's time in the quantum realm, a time that I believe we see a brief flashback shot of in the trailer right here, with a hooded Janet Van Dyne sitting in the forefront of a white shot that looks like flares or something heading directly for these massive holes in the background. This shot right here, my nerd babies, holds the Avengers Endgame Easter egg. Why? Well, okay, let's think about it. Janet Van Dyne was trapped inside of the quantum realm for decades after seemingly sacrificing her life to defuse a bomb on a covert superhero mission as the original Wasp decades ago. Ever since then, she has had a whole nother life in the quantum realm and became acclimated to how things work there, using her genius level intellect and curiosity to learn all about the flora and fauna of that little tiny universe. So much so that she even managed to develop a device to communicate with the faceless and mouthless subatomic entities that live in the quantum realm's weird habitats. But speaking of those habitats, Janet knew a lot about those too, and we see this strongest in the post credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp when Janet is preparing Scott for his trip to the quantum realm to gather up quantum healing particles for Ghost. Take note of what she says right here. Also, make sure you stay out of the tardigrade fields. They're cute, but they'll eat you. And don't get sucked into a time vortex. We won't be able to save you. And Janet is right, because the tardigrade fields are something that we see earlier on in the movie when Hank almost gets eaten by some tardigrades himself on his way to rescue his subatomic science spouse. Just real quick, this video is brought to you by The Ridge. The Ridge wallet is like, sleek, and industrial. It's designed to fit in your front pocket, unlike those bulky back pocket wallets that we won't talk about here because this is a Ridge wallet zone. It holds up to 12 cards and still has room for cash. The Ridge wallet comes in over 30 styles and colors, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. That's how I like my titanium, burnt. There's even an 18 karat gold plated wallet if you're balling like that, which I think Aisha and the other shiny sovereign folks from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 would appreciate because they all about that gold life. They, they be golden 24 seven. And every Ridge wallet comes with a lifetime guarantee and they'll let you test drive it for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. But that's highly improbable because because they make the best wallets. And it's got 30,000 five-star reviews. Um, they also have great backpacks and travel bags with RFID blocking pockets and optional device charging batteries. And they have a cool event going on now where every dollar spent on the website before September 18th enters you to win a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Or $50,000 if you prefer cash and are really excited to paint yourself gold to match your new Ridge wallet because that's what you do, but you know, just don't infect yourself with chemicals, right? <laughs> so get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash new rockstars. That's ridge, R-I-D-G-E dot com slash new rockstars and use the code new rockstars. And you can find the link in the video description below, of course. And Janet mentioning time vortexes was of course the MCU teasing the timeline hopping heist of Avengers Endgame right after this movie, where the Avengers use the quantum realm to access different timelines to get the Infinity Stones. However, let us slow down and watch what happens to the Avengers as they make this trip. Because as you can see, before the Avengers arrive at their own respective 
respective timelines for the time heist, each team shrinks down and gets converted into a ball of light before being sucked into one of these weird blue pores that bring each team to a different time vortex. I believe this is what we are seeing Janet Van Dyne witness in the quantum realm in this shot of the Quantumania trailer. This is Janet camping out in front of a bundle of time vortexes as mysterious objects break off into glowing energies to make their way into said vortexes. Like they're, they're each heading into their own little massive hole in the background. Because if you think about it, for her to warn Scott about them, she naturally would have to be very familiar with them herself and actively have seen objects go into these vortexes never to return. So us getting a glimpse of what these time vortexes look like from Janet Van Dyne's perspective during her adventures in the quantum realm makes sense for this movie. However, if this is true, the question still remains. Just who or what could be heading towards a time vortex in this trailer shot? What do you guys think? Because I think it'd be really fun if it was secretly King variants about to invade the sacred timeline branches, you know, after they were freed at the end of the Loki finale. Because if you look really closely, these glowing flares in the trailer seem to emerge from like a portal of sorts, almost similar to the effect that happens when a spaceship uses a jump portal in the Guardians movies. It's like a little energy crack in space time or something. So I'm thinking that this could be some Kangs entering the MCU for the first time and like about to enter some time vortexes to enter their various timelines. All I know is that I am interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think? But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment. If you guys want to see me tweet some weird shit, more importantly, you can follow New Rockstars wherever we are on the social media. And also to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It always helps out the channel. Also, going to NewRockstarsMerch.com helps the channel immensely and gives you some amazing merch to wear to all of your family gatherings. Head on over to NewRockstarsMerch.com today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>